just stood there like a moron for the rest of this episode. Um, okay. Come on, climb over it. We ain't got all day here. Even with a, oh, a bridge, she's still an idiot. I don't want to say a moron because I used that word like four times already in about two seconds, so. Oh my god. And you can skip a lot of these by just using the two greater than signs, but I don't like to do that because it takes away from the experience. The frustration factor doesn't factor in a lot of times. Now you do have to make sure that you, pick, well you don't have to pick this up, but there is something on the floor that you can get off the ground here. It is a lens of sorts. Okay. Are you done looking at it? Just put it in your pocket. Anything else? A stone or pebble, a weed, anything else that you like to grab off of here? Oh, a telescope with strange looking legs here holding it. It kind of looks like something out of the first Toy Story movie. One of the uh, toys. Doesn't it kind of look like that? It's like out of breath. I can't see anything. Well, it just so happens I have the oh, cure. To that which ails you. It is indeed missing the lens piece. And because of that, we will put this in the lens piece. I don't know why it was missing in the first place, but somebody must have ripped it off and thrown it away. So now you can look in it, and it will show you something. that other window there by the tower room is she like the only person on the planet who never looked at her house from the outside I mean seriously I, I'm, I'm not trying to be like a, a dick I mean I know it comes off like that but I always looked at my houses well not my houses my house from the other side. You, you don't know. I mean, that's like every kid's dream. Yeah, it's chilly here in the middle of uh, October. Yeah, it could be, actually. I don't know where here actually is. You're on an island, so I would assume it's probably island weather. So it's probably not so chilly. So there's two things in here which are important. One is the trowel, which gives us a cutscene. A very weird cutscene. This is where the game starts to get a little strange. Oh my god, a woman potting plants. How dare she be here? That apron look familiar? Zoltan, what are you doing here? Did you want something? Sultan. Sultan. Lead me to my plant. Yes. That was his wife, Hortensia, and that's where the apron in that observatory came from. It looked more like it was dirt on it, and I suppose it could be, but I think it's actually blood. 
In any event, it really doesn't matter. Now we know what happened to his first wife. And considering the time at which this came out, that was actually pretty graphic. But I'll tell you what, not even close. That actually reminds me of, uh, of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I think it might have been the dream child. It was either four, it might have been three. Okay, so head back into the greenhouse. We're not done, guys. Check the big pot. Oh my God in heaven. Yeah, nobody decided to check. This woman disappeared and was never heard from again and nobody decided to check the grounds. So she'll just go snooping around. I, I mean, it's pretty yeah. obvious that Skull is fake. I mean, obviously. I mean, you know, it's pretty cheap looking. So, you can look at it some more. You know, maybe you can mess around with it. Take her with you. Stroke her a little bit. But in, in this time frame, it would be very difficult. I mean, that's gel. Ballistics gel, probably. And, uh, you know, that's just the way that they made this stuff, so... But there is his first wife, Hortensia. She is officially dead. So now his second wife, somebody, I don't know his second wife's name offhand. We can find out what happened to her too at some point, I'm sure. According to the thingamajigger, they, she was never seen either again. So let's amble our way across the lot. You know what? Skip this shit. That's what we get for whatever. I mean, that was just ridiculous. Nothing we could do there. There's no other way around. And you could do that with virtually everything. I wonder who that could be. Yes, who would, who would visit this nut job of a house? Okay, there's, um, idiot again. If you wanted to go back to him, there's no point think uh, you know what let's let's go talk to him again let's just see if he has anything important to tell us what do you got for us Cyrus going after my cat again uh, Cyrus? Uh -huh. I, I was just um Did you see how he looked like he was holding that axe? Like like a, a baseball bat. Like a kid holds a baseball bat all funny looking. In any way. In any event. Any way too. So who who showed up? Who who? Ooh. Oh hey. Look at that. Big red truck. It's a cul-de-sac here. Let's head inside and see what's cooking. We playing with power, Nintendo power. Hey, Mr. Phone Guy, you just happened to um come here. Um, you must be installing the phone. Hi, yeah, I'm Mike. Your uh, caretakers let me in. Oh, great! I'm going nuts without a phone. Yeah, I can understand that. This is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. Yeah, better do that. God forbid. Okay, now... The only thing that's left for us to do is, if you remember correctly, they said something about... another window next to the tower. So what could that mean? What, what does that mean, I should say? Alright, the only thing that we can do with that... 